Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to my garage. Yes, indeed. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. So today we are going to be working. Oh, hold on a little bit on our pickup truck over here. Yep, our F-350 needs a little bit of tender, loving care as it is pretty worn down. Easy, pal. What are you doing over here? Did you see that thing moved on us? Anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're going to do some work on this today. Um, mostly with the running gear. Uh, look at that butte. Look at that butte. Anyway, yeah. So maybe some... I don't know if we're going to do any painting or not. Uh, we might just keep it the way it looks. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I kind of like the way it looks, but we're definitely going to be doing some running gear and then probably just a little bit of yard cleanup. Because if you look over there, oh, easy. I got my brake on. There it is. Uh, anyway, if you look over here, it is quite the mess. It is the mess. Uh, indeed. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull this into the garage. Uh, we do have to be careful as the things in the back here. Uh, they will not fit. They will not fit. So we're just going to bring it in to about right there. Let's go ahead and hit that brake for a second. Turn this off. And yeah, yeah, we're going to have to lower those uh, before we can get this all the way in. There we go. And uh, there we go. Fantastic. That should be enough to get it all the way in there. Now we're going to lift this puppy up and do some work on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen an F-350 on a uh, lift before? Oh. Oh, you have? Oh, it's not nothing new? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, if you haven't, you're going to see it now. And if you have, well, guess what? You're going to see it again. Okay, easy, easy. Um, I don't know how far we need to bring. Okay, I think we're stuck on something. Uh, that's fine. I think we can push it the rest of the way uh, by hand. We will have to release that brake as these brakes are no joke on this thing. Anyway, let's see where we're screwing ourselves. Uh, it does appear it was that side. There we go. A little bit too far. Indeed. Indeed, a little bit more. There we go. Let's go ahead and scooch the rear end over a little bit. And yeah, yeah, let's get this pushed up. We're going to have to... Okay, look, we're sticking on the mirror a little bit there. We're going to have to bring it up quite a bit, actually. Okay, there we go. Big old freaking ears, man. Oh, you know what? I should have named this thing Mater. Oh, I should totally turn this into Mater. Anyway, anyway. Uh, it's a little bit too far now. We're going to have to be a little bit delicate with this and hit the brakes. Um, but we're going to try to get this kind of even. I think that's probably good. Squeeze our head in and... Okay, there we go. Hit it. Yeah, that looks like it'll work, right? I think so. Anyway, uh, let's see how this works. Uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know. I don't know. We're probably, since it is so long... Uh, it's probably wise to go ahead and extend these out, actually. Uh, but yeah, you know what? I should look up a picture of Mater and at some point try to uh, model this after Mater. I think that would be kind of cool. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab this side now and then in this side. Uh, the only thing that we have to make sure that we do here is line this thing up with the frame. So this just needs to come in a little bit more. That might be a little bit too far. Yeah, something like that. And then this one here, I have to come out like so. And let's line this side up now. There we go. And then what about this back side? Okay, there we go. There we go. Now this thing should lift. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It's quite the beast. Quite the beast indeed. There we go. Look at it. Look at it go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We almost uh, screwed this up very badly. Uh, we stopped it just in time. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. I think we can bring it up the rest of the way. This is a pretty, pretty tall ceiling. Uh, maybe we should actually bring this down just a couple more notches. I don't know how high we're going to end up going here, but... Uh, I do want it to be enough to... Ha uh, I want it to be enough to get under there. There we go. That looks good, right? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's turn our light on. We can see how dark it is right now. And then, bada bing, bada boom. Check that out. Beautiful as can be. Okay, so what do we need? Uh, mostly front end work. As we can tell here, uh, we have a lot, a lot of bad 
uh, stuff. Oh yeah, we, we're gonna have to get a new radiator hose as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the back real quick just to see how it looks. It looks like the leaf springs are indeed good. Uh, yep, on both sides, shocks, axle. Uh, we do have a bad brake line there. Uh, we'll probably just double check the brakes in general. Okay, rotors. Okay, everything looks good through here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. So mostly uh, front end work. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and grab our wrench. Get started on this thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I think to close the video off, uh, we're just going to kind of hang out and clean this place up a little bit. Load up the trailer and all that. Oh, yeah. And I do want to see if we could put a tow ball on here, a trailer hitch, you know, tow ball. Anyway, um, let's see. Where the heck's our wrench at? Is it? I didn't see it in the thing over here. No, 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 no. There it is right there under us the entire time. Okay, let's go ahead and pull off the wheel first, I suppose. That's probably the best choice. Uh, yep, this guy's a lot of bolts. There we go. And bada bing. We're going to go ahead and uh, grab it or not or not. That's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll probably just leave those tires on. We could always put regular tires onto this thing, uh, as we have seen in our survival uh, series, right? Anyway, let's go ahead and get this the rest of the way off. There we go. Switch it to tight. And, okay, we got it actually this time. Yeah, yeah. I want to clean this place up a bit. It's a little bit of a disaster. Um, it's not really, oh, it is kind of affecting my frames. Oh, check me out. I'm at like 30 frames per second. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to just switch that to good uh, graphics, and now we're up to 60. We're up to 60. Yeah, that uh, extra best experimental settings uh, does take quite a hit to the performance uh, if you got a lot of junk laying around. Um, it's all those ray traced graphics. Anyway, this does have a bad hub, it looks like. Let's go ahead and pull this whole thing off. I do, in fact, believe we need a pry tool for that. So let's go ahead and find that on the ground real quick. There it is, right there. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, we'll have to pull this off here. Let's see, uh, the cap. Okay, or not. I think it just has to fall. Okay, I still can't pick it up with this thing. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, let's just drop it and then grab it. And then I don't want to lose it, so we're going to stick it up here. Oh, let's check out that battery, by the way. I don't know if it's been, I was thinking it's been charging the whole time uh, I haven't been on the game. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at it. Oh, come on, come on, what are you doing? There we go. Uh, nope, it's still charging. It is still charging. Anyway, let's grab the uh, pry tool once again. Then we could pull off these rotors. There we go. We'll just let them fall. Screw it. Why not? Yeah, these hubs are pretty bad, so we have a choice. We do, in fact, have a choice. This one's actually good, though. Uh, the choice is, do we keep these hubs and keep these truck tires? Or do we go ahead and just put on uh, some regular tires? That I'm not too sure of. Uh, let's just get that out of the way here. Okay. Uh, we still can't pull this off. Why? Please tell me why. What am I missing? I can't. I always forget what the heck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always forget what the heck is supposed to uh, go on and not go on on this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, actually. Why doesn't that come off? Like, I could obviously see that bolt there. Okay, anyway. Any bleeding way. Let's grab this again. I don't know if we still need this or not. I don't think so. No, no. Screw it. Let's just pull off the whole carrier. Uh, maybe we'll be able to figure it out once it's on the ground. Anyway, let's grab the uh, that thing. Oh, I know why. It's because of the brakes. If we didn't... Okay, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so if we take the brakes off, I think, on this one, uh, then we would be able to get... I think we'd be able to get to that bolt. Let's let it fall down real quick here. There we go. And yeah, that's what it was. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh... We still can't get it because we didn't get the brake off. So, I mean, that makes sense. It does, honestly. But honestly, uh, we shouldn't even be able to get these rotors off until we actually get the brakes off because that would be uh, literally impossible. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab... I mean, most the only thing that we really, really need to replace is the cross member, which means 
the engine is hooked to that so that kind of sucks hopefully we don't need to take the engine out but uh, let's go ahead and pull off all of the running gear running gear uh control arms is kind of what i really meant to say but anyway um i don't think we need to pull yeah let's just i know i don't think i don't know i don't know I don't know what we need to take off. Let's just take this off here. Uh, and then let's grab this side. Yeah, because that's all part of the cross member, I think. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, anyway, let's take off the shock. Uh, did we get that already? We did not. We're going to go ahead and pull it off. Um, let's see. That should be everything that we need. I don't know if the... Okay, it looks like this upper control arm is also connected to the cross member. So let's just go ahead and pull that off as well. Right? Yeah. And I think the uh, shock is connected to it as well. Anyway, that should be good. I don't know if this is going to come off or not. We might need to pull the engine out. Um, we'll see, I guess. Well, let's tighten that back up real quick. And let's loosen the engine first. And then we'll see if we can actually get this off. There we go. And where was it? Right here. Okay. Nope. We didn't need to take the engine off. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, and I like that the, uh, look at that. The freaking tie rods, uh, are actually just dangling. Anyway, we need to get a new cross member and that's really it. Everything else seemed good except for this, obviously, uh, this hub. I think we're just going to keep the, uh, truck tires on there. So we'll just grab a new hub wiper there. Uh, cross member in a lower radiator hose and that should be it and a battery but we don't really need the battery uh, i'm like no we have a battery we have that battery right there anyway yeah let's go grab the cross member what is that oh our, oh we could might as well grab a steering column as well uh okay so cross member steering column and a hub okay okay let's go grab that okay okay i'm back we got the cross member the steering column a hub and a lower hose anyway we're gonna start with the cross member first get that tightened up and then after that we will start with well i don't even know honestly i guess the hub it is interesting it calls it a dually front hub but it's not it's only a single tire uh so anyway uh actually we're not gonna start with that we need the um these two hickeys on first uh actually <laughs> just kidding just kidding like i completely forget how to build a car anyway this is a lower front left uh we need this on first that's exactly what we need uh please and thank you let's go ahead and put the lower front right on uh, uno doso there we go uh, now we can put on the carrier hubs uh just kidding yeah i am just kidding anyway we're going to go ahead and put the front left upper on it next uh one nope 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 where are you come on baby one and uh two there it is okay where's the other upper there she blows right there and yep one and a dos fantastic uh here is the cr i don't know if we could put this on yet actually i don't remember what's required to put oh there it is okay never mind i just have to hit it in the right spot anyway there it is uh, and let's go ahead and put this side on next. There she blows. There she blows. Okay. Um, the tie rod was already done, so we just have to tighten it at this point. Yep. There we go. Uh, what's up next? What's up next? Well, now we can probably throw the hub on, I'm assuming. Well, let's do the shock first, actually. Uh, yeah, let's put the shocks on. Uh, tighten. Or not, or not. Where's it at? There she is, and up here, let's grab the other shock, and uh, where's it go? Right there, right there. Uh, one and a two. Yeah, so I'm coming up on my hundredth video uh, for this game, and I wasn't sure, I was didn't know if I was going to do anything special for the hundredth video or not. Um, I was likely not to going to do anything special, just kind of continue playing like we've been um then i had a dream i had a dream last night uh and i thought about actually moving this puppy down moving the whole 
business downtown to the, um, I think we need to use this, uh, downtown and to the big garage downtown. I was thinking about moving everything down there and just basically starting from episode 100 and doing everything down at the big garage, the service center garage. I was going to load up all of my lifts. Um, I was going to basically load up the big trailer. Well, that's what I needed to see if I could put a, a trailer hitch on this for. So I wanted to put a car on this trailer hitch with the big trailer with all my lifts and uh, benches and all my equipment on that big trailer. And then I was going to grab the small trailer and load it up uh, with more furniture and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that or not. Um, when I loaded in today and I seen my big mess with everything lying about, I kind of really, it was like, oh man, I don't really want to leave this place. Uh, so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do at this point. Um, but I'm thinking I might just move downtown. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool though uh, to be down there. Uh, so then we'd have to come a lot further if we wanted to come to the junkyard. And then also, I wanted to actually start utilizing, um, like, the the service center tests and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, the different tests that we could get done. Uh, I wanted to start actually using that because, um, well, frankly, I don't ever use it. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it's not really meant for somebody like myself. Uh, who, you know, knows the game fairly well and can kind of figure out what's wrong with things. Uh, but I thought it would still be cool to just do, especially now that we're bank, like rolling in the money, you know what I mean? Uh, we do need a brake break pad for that one. And then I thought about going ahead and just ending this series at like 100 or something like that and starting a brand new one, basically like a season two and um, just starting from scratch all over again. <laughs> But I don't know if I want to do that. Anyway, let's get this. Uh, I forgot to tighten the engine back up, by the way. There we go. There we go. So I just need a brake pad. Uh, let's see if we have any brake pads over here real quick. I think we do. Yep, we have four right here. So let's just go ahead and drop one. That's all we really need. And then let's grab our uh, pry tool. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right there. But yeah, I thought about starting like a new season, basically. Do it on hard start again, um, where we would start at the house. Um, keep the taxi disabled but i thought about turning on like the food and hunger and stuff and then possibly creating some like extra rules uh for myself to make it even harder um so anyway i don't know i don't know i don't know let me know those of you that's been following along and are into the series and everything like that let me know what you'd like to see um where the hell did my gosh damn wrench go you guys see it anywhere? Uh, let me find it real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot I set it over here when we got the brakes, so. <laughs> anyway, anyway, uh, what are we missing here? Uh, did we get that brake on yet? Nope, it's right here still. Let's go ahead and get this on. It has two beefy pads now. Uh, it was on this side, and I did see the differential back there. Uh, so we will get that on next. Let's make sure this line is tight. I don't know if I actually tightened it. Apparently I did. Anyway, yeah, let's get this dif front differential put on. Uh, there we go. One and a dose. There we go. And then uh, it does not connect inside there at all. Okay. Okay. So that looks like that should be pretty much everything. But yeah, those of you that's been kind of, you know, following along the series the entire time, it, you don't even have to be one of the ones that's been following along the whole time. Just if you're watching this video and you've seen quite a few of the other ones, um, after episode 100, or maybe I was thinking actually just finishing these up to just kind of top off this series. Uh, then I'll have all the cars, you know, a pristine version of every single car. I mean, this one's not pristine, but whatever. Um, you know what I mean? Would you like to see a new season started from scratch all over again or just move down to the big service center? But let's go and throw the tires on and next. And uh, yeah, 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 we're almost done. I don't know if you're supposed to crisscross these um i doubt that was the pattern that you're supposed to do uh, i'm assuming that the pattern that you're supposed to do on something like this would be like oops hold on not like that hold on it'd be like this boom boom so i would think this would probably ensure you have the tire on a little bit 
uh, more even like anyway that should be everything uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this lower hose real quick if we can catch it nope there it is take it off fantastic grab this one and uh, boom boom tighten oh we're not gonna be able to tighten it though are we I know we're gonna have to bring it down we're gonna have to bring it down it should be good enough and it is it is there it is okay fantastic okay let's uh bring it back up i think i'm still forgetting something yeah we're forgetting the back brakes uh let's go ahead and take both of these brakes off real quick and just see how the brake pads are because i have no clue um there it is okay let that fall let's grab this side as well check the pads out and let it fall and then of course we need to get a new line uh, for this one so let's go and pull that line off and the brake pads itself look excellent and this side the brake pads look good as well so we're going to go ahead and put this back on don't have to worry about the pads uh, but we do need to get a line uh, i don't know if i have any of those lying around i feel like i should uh somewhere so uh let's see let's see we're gonna just kind of cruise around and see if we could find one. Oh yeah, and we're gonna do the steering column uh, once we get this thing put down. I don't think we have any up here. If we have any brake lines, it's likely gonna be out back. Um, I doubt I took any off and threw them into this pile. This is basically an entire lad sitting right here. Uh, so I could rebuild that thing and basically have a brand new car. But I thought what we would do is cruise around in the truck and see if we could find some uh not barn finds but we could do a barn find um abandoned cars see if we can find an abandoned car uh let's see let's see what is this there we go is that a brake line heck yeah it is i knew we had one all oh, right actually i didn't but it was worth checking now this is the only reason why i wouldn't i wouldn't want to abandon this place um this garage up here and move it all downtown uh, simply because, come on, we freaking load in already, bro. Uh, simply because of this thing here, like I would have to leave this garage, uh, which I mean, I don't really use it. You know what I mean? Like we're still getting plenty of frames and I have all this crap laying everywhere. Um, but since we're going to be further away from Steve's pawn shop being way down there, uh, my piles would likely get a lot worse down there. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we could figure out a way, though, to help uh, performance uh, if needed. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, anyway. Let's get this last line tightened right there. And did we get this one? I always forget if I grab these or not. Oh, I don't think I did. Look, I don't even see it up. Oh, there it is right there. Lotus. Okay, we got it. Okay, so the brakes are done on the back. The lines are done. Let's go ahead and bring it down and put on the steering column and uh this thing's gonna be ready to rock and roll we'll probably swap out that battery uh how's the charge doing by the way um it's doing okay I, i'm pretty sure once this gets down to zero that means this thing's not charging anymore so like right now you could say it's using almost three amps of energy uh to charge this battery and i think once it's at zero that means that thing is full uh, we're gonna see what happens here uh with our t bottom end see how it's gonna hit the ground there look watch okay it's fine it's fine anyway uh let's grab our wrench and let's pull off that steering column next as it is a junker see it see it i didn't grab a steering wheel uh so we will have to use the same steering wheel but let's see where is the damn bolts it, oh this one's interesting check it out it's like way up here okay okay i feel like that's definitely uh new to any of the cars uh, but let's throw this out we're going to pull off the steering wheel as i think it's good i can't really tell but it's fine let's go and put it onto this one tighten it there we go and let's stick this one on yeah 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 and bada bing bada boom how you guys doing by the way if i haven't asked hope you're doing well hope you're doing well there we go there we go and uh how's it look how does it look i think it looks just fine i think it looks just fine 
All right, so how long has it been? Uh, okay, that took about a half an hour. All right, well, anyway, that's gonna be it for fixing the truck. We're not gonna do anything else uh, in detail. Um, I was gonna clean this place up, actually, but I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cruise around for maybe 15, 20 minutes and see if we could find uh, an abandoned car somewhere and pick that puppy up. Let's go ahead and sleep a little bit. It is 9 a.m. It looks bright as can be. I forgot our back window was completely busted out uh, from that time we hooked that car up. So we don't want that. We're just going to pull it off. Yep. I don't need glass flying in the back of my head. Uh, so we'll just leave it out here. Uh, we'll have to sort all that stuff out at some point. But anyway, anyway, look at that. Looks beautiful. Okay. Yeah. You know, I was also thinking the next car that I build. Um, I kind of wish I would have put the six cylinder into that uh, Jesse, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, anyway, let's get in. But I think I want my next vehicle to have a six banger. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this thing. Release that brake. And uh, we're going to back out. I think we'll just leave those. Okay, no, wrong gear. There we go. Oh, I forgot to uh, move the. Okay. Oh, it's the mirror that's getting caught. I thought I was getting caught. I forgot to move the freaking lifts, lift pieces down there. Uh, let's see if we can get this out without hitting the mirror. We're going to have to kick it over a little bit this way. And then we're going to go ahead and straighten it back out. There we go. Look at that. Look at that skill. Okay, don't hit that wall. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Yep. Back it out. And all right, all right. Let's just drive around a little bit and uh see if we can find any abandoned vehicles yes yes indeed indeed i don't know where they exist uh let's go down this way yeah i only know of the one abandoned vehicle by the way uh which is the one that we found that one time down by the junkyard uh so yeah 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 Um, I think I should have went left back there. Uh, we'll come this way anyway. But yeah, like if you would do a big update that would require a brand new start, I would be perfectly fine with that at this point. As I am ready, I am kind of ready to start a new, a whole brand new game and kind of starting over. Um, I feel like I would be able to do the beginning a lot better than I did uh, when I first, first started. You know what I mean? You guys remember? Any of you? Episode one? Anyway, yeah, that was a long time ago, and uh, I was a pretty—I was pretty much a noob at that point while playing this game. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know it a lot. I was asking a lot of questions, uh, so I thought it would be fun to kind of restart, maybe introduce some new rules. I don't know what rules I would possibly introduce. Uh, I wish this idle sound would turn off a little bit sooner. Uh, anyway, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what rules I could introduce to myself, like, obviously I would have no taxis on, uh, but that's like a built-in feature. Um, turn on the food thing, see how all that works. Uh, maybe do make a rule, like, I'm not allowed to use customer cars to drive places or something. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not allowed to use catalogs at all. Just kidding, I think that would probably kind of suck big balls. Uh, yeah, that would probably actually really suck. I don't think I'd want to do a no catalog uh, playthrough because, well, frankly, it takes a long time to shop at the junkyard, you know what I mean? It takes a long, long time. So I don't know about a no catalog build, uh, but I, I wouldn't mind doing something like... Um, like, never allowed to use the towing feature in the game, uh, you know, where you pay the hundred bucks, uh, like, only allowed to, I can only tow, uh, oh, right, look, we got lucky, uh, I'm only allowed to tow, uh, my own vehicle, that is amazing, I cannot believe that's here, okay, we're gonna have to get this thing turned around so we can get that loaded up, uh, but let's see if we can do this, 
I mean, I know we can, uh, but we don't want to fly off the edge. So let's just back this up right about here. Yep, throw it into first. We're going to kick the wheel back over this way. There we go. There we go. Let's get her backed up. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we got lucky on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it has been a long time since I've been down here. I don't know how these abandoned vehicles work, uh, by the way. Like, I don't know if... Like, say this vehicle here, who knows when it spawned here? It could have been today, it could have been a week ago, or you know what I mean? And then, like, if I wouldn't have came down here to pick this up, my question would be... Look at that, that doesn't even go down to the ground. Is it because... Oh, it's because it's all the way down. And I am actually... Uh, we're going to have to back it up a little bit more. It's because of the hill that I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would never get that on. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just back it up a little bit more. I wonder if I could uh, push it a little bit. Yeah, it looks like we can. But yeah, anyway, I'm curious on how long this car would stay here. Like, if we didn't come here today to pick this up, uh, would this thing stay here forever? Or would it eventually uh, disappear? Uh, let's get this pushed around like this. No, I was hoping this thing was going to be a lad. Uh, what is this? Oh. Okay, well, there's some collectibles here. We are going to take this with us. Uh, and then we're going to put it on the inside. So if you didn't know, uh, one of you guys let me know that collectibles do disappear if you leave them outside. It's to simulate basically uh, a thief. You know what I mean? I didn't bring the move tool, so I can't grab that um, that shelf or not, but that's okay. That's okay. And I feel like this house needs to be uh, redone because it's, it's way... Well, unless it's from a long time ago when people were a lot shorter. Anyway, let's go and back this up a little bit more. I don't think we did that quite right. Uh, yeah, let's just get it backed up a little bit further. Oops, I still got the brake on. There we go. I don't know how far I think we're about to hit it I don't know if this is going to work or not actually uh, how's our fuel by the way okay our fuel's looking pretty good uh, yeah I don't think I'm going to be able to get this on you guys because okay we're going to have to find out find a new place to put this well I guess I could have went around I think we'll have to back it up from the other side yeah 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 that's what we're going to have to do so let's just get this thing uh, put back to the back side of that wolf and then we're going to have to grab it from over there. Uh, release. Let's pull it forward. And then we're just going to go around the horn here. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Yep, just going to have to bring it all the way around like so. Oh, okay, easy, easy. Let's put the brake on. Uh, we're getting screwed because now it is hitting the ground. So there we go, there we go. Um, we're going to probably fly off that edge. So we're going to have to go forward just a little bit jump in okay easy and enter oh damn it i forgot to hold my clutch in there we go and i forgot to replace the battery uh before we left it's okay though let's go forward there we go and then let's go backwards there we go there we go we're gonna get this thing turned all the way around oh jesus okay it's fine it's I wasn't expecting that sound. Uh, let's see if we can get this without falling off the cliff. There we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. There we go. Here we go. Reverse. There we go. Check us out. Check us out. Okay. Back it up. And I think that looks probably well enough. Get it out. And let's load this thing up. Let's load this thing up there we go there we go look at that beautiful beautiful yep okay okay um now we just need to grab it yeah let's get the winch and let's see how this goes i'm pretty excited to uh, this will be my first abandoned car uh with the good old oh don't tell me there's not a rear hook oh there's not i forgot this car doesn't have a rear hook i don't know why or it's on a different part of the bumper or something. Okay, we're just going to have to use our He-Man strength and uh, spin this SOB around. So, let's do it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pretty light frame as it was, right? Well, we should be able to make some... Oh, wait, we should probably claim it first. Uh, duh. Claim, please. There we go. Uh, five... Hundred and eleven dollars this thing is worth. But yeah, I'm curious if we wouldn't have claimed that... Um, 
and it just stayed here like how long would it be here for you know what i mean anyway let's go ahead and get it hooked up uh well this is pretty exciting i guess this is what we're going to be working on next but yeah kind of let me guys let me know what you guys would like to see um new season new start new playthrough at the old house uh, or with some additional rules set in place or should we just go ahead and move everything down to the service center? Come on. Okay, it's, it's struggling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that scared me a little bit. It was a little loud there. Okay, okay, that didn't work out too swell. Uh, yeah, no, that did not work out swell at all. Okay, okay. Easy, pal. That's because of a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. Anyway, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Um, I shouldn't have cranked it so hard. Uh, when I noticed that it was not even, uh, let's get in and we're going to have to, okay, that doesn't work anyway. Anyway, we can push this back. We're, we're strong enough, right? Okay. Nope. We're going to have to reposition our truck. Unfortunately, uh, that's fine. Let's just push the truck forward. I think we could do that, uh, slowly, but surely let me get this into position real quick. Okay. Okay. I think we got it, uh, in position. We should be able to get this pulled up now. Uh, I was thinking if we, okay, easy, if we just kind of uh, get it started a little bit, uh, and then we could go from there. Yeah. So and then if we just kick it a little bit further uh, this way, there we go. There we go. And I don't know if this is the same one or if this is a new one. Uh, let's see. I think we must have lost it. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, let's grab the hook and let's try this again. Let's try it again. Um, oh, that's why because the stupid car's hook isn't in the middle. God, whoever designed these cars, uh, why would they put their tow hooks? Who's this, BMW? Or not BMW, oh, look, and I, I used my stupid wheel, screwed that up, uh, trying to crouch. Anyway, uh, Mercedes, Mercedes, why the hell would Mercedes put their hooks like that? Nobody knows. Nobody cares, apparently, either. Otherwise, they would have put it uh, in the middle. Anyway, let's go ahead and hook this in. Easy, let's double check it. Uh, we're going to kick it back over just a little bit, like so. And let's do it again. One, two, three, yep, jump and Okay, we're, it's gonna come blasting at me again. Why? Why, what's wrong? What's wrong? Why can't you go up the rest of the way? Because there's no wheels, I think. Okay, okay, you know what we could do? We could use these uh, ramps to our advantage here. Let's just go ahead and crank it up one by one on each side this should be enough to lift the front okay 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 easy pow okay apparently they're not the easiest to put on a trailer uh when they don't have a freaking tire on it good lord okay get back get back okay we're gonna have to try this again we're gonna have to do this another another time uh give me a second okay okay kind of got it back into position but uh, once again, it's kind of stuck uh, right at this spot. So we're going to try to lift these up slowly on each side. Uh, enough to get the front end kind of up off of the... Okay, easy, easy. Okay, it doesn't like to... It doesn't like... Uh, it doesn't like that whatsoever. Not at all. Anyway, anyway. I don't think that's good. I do not think that's good. Uh, so yeah, the F-350 tow truck is not the greatest. Uh, if you do not have a freaking axles or what have you. Anyway, we're just going to try it again. And we're just going to crank the crap out of it. And uh, we're just going to have to see what happens. I don't know. Uh, either way, we're going to have to try to get this on here. Um, I mean, we don't have to. We could always go grab. Come on, baby. There we go. Look, okay. We, we got it. We got it. Easy as a bleeding pie. Which would be like a rhubarb pie, probably. Anyway, let's get this lifted. This will kind of hold it on from the backside. Uh, this one as well. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, Bobby. Hey, Bobby boy. Just kidding. Um, King of the Hill, anybody? There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I don't have the switches on here, uh, but one of you guys said if I push P, I should help lock this thing into place. Uh, but I don't know if I, we really need to get it locked, actually. So we're going to try to do it without pushing P as it was. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start it. Let's uh, come out to this view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abandoned car. Here we go. Okay, first gear. And let's go. Okay, easy. Did I release the brake? 
No. Okay. Number three key, please. Okay. There we go. There we go. Is it locked? I can't tell. What happens if I push P? I, I pushed it. I don't know if it locked or not. Anyway, uh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to go back into first. Nope. Not the tilde key. Okay. Not too fast. Not too slow. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So we're going to see how well this thing lifts. Not lifts, but uh, we're going to see how well this thing climbs this hill over here. But it should climb with absolutely zero problem. You know what I mean? Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. We're just going to come straight out like this. And we're going to make our right hand turn right here. And how is it? How is it? Is it on? It is. Okay. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Watch. We're going to floor it. Yeah, we don't need to floor it. We're just going to barely push the gas. Oh, yeah, dude. This thing is a beast. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Uh, just continue working on this uh, series. You know, let me know down below. Start a new series, a new season rather, uh, from scratch. Uh, keep doing what we're doing at our current garage or uh, move down to the service center. You know what I mean? Let me know. I don't really know. I'm kind of feeling like moving down to the service center for one as I would like to actually have uh, the service center closer so, so I could start utilizing um, the stuff down there and we can start working on cars down there because we have that shop uh, just right next door. Uh, another part of me just wants to stay where we're at uh, because I just, I just like it up here. Uh, the mess is really nice. It looks cool. Okay, this thing is not handling so well, by the way. Um, you probably can't tell, uh, but it's really trying to go, like, jerk back and forth left and right. Uh, so, I'm not too sure what's up with that. Um, I have to check my tire pressures. Uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, but I do kind of like the garage that we have. It's kind of nice up here. It's close to Steve. So, if we need to throw stuff away. Um, but And then the car lot's really close, and it's also kind of like pretty close to the good old um i'm gonna push p again i wonder if that was what was screwing me up uh, it's also kind of close to the uh junkyard uh we're gonna go a little bit fast and see what happens here oh yeah it's oh yeah it's it's definitely steering really weird um i don't know why i don't know if it's the car back there now let's go a little bit fast Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, where should we park this? We have another wolf. Uh, let's just back it up right here. And I think we'll just drop it off. Or maybe we won't even drop it off. We'll probably just leave it on here for now. Oops, easy pal. I just hit the wall. That's okay though, that's okay. Uh, that was actually almost a good way to get this uh, thing off. But anyway, that's it. Well, excellent. We have a, well, it's not worth as much anymore. Uh, likely from smashing it up against the freaking thing here anyway i don't know what we'll do with this wagon by the way uh we still have this wagon over here as well that i kind of need to get this looks this looks like a demolition derby car but i need to kind of get this up uh to par <laughs> and park it with those other ones but so yeah i think that's going to be it for this one you guys so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed and of course we'll see you all in the next one so uh later on everybody later later on <laughs> all right guys we'll see you guys in the next one later on everybody later on